Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the land of Grisantium here in Victoria 2. Last episode, we were fighting the Fifth Great War. We still are. This war is still going on. We kind of reached a turning point, though, because France's mobilized units are actually... Well, it looks like they're killing Germany's mobilized units. It's farmers versus farmers over here. With the added difference that Ireland has an actual army here. Yep. So even if uh, even if France and Germany are fighting with peasants, Ireland is not. And we're about to bring over our soldiers as well. Whoa, well, there's some Brits over here. Oh, I guess we should take care of those Brits while we're here, huh? Hey, guys. Do them first. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just farmers. Don't worry about it. We also pieced out of China after we got 35 war score from one battle. Not sure if that was a good idea. I was kind of hoping to keep the war with China going for a little while, but Guangxi surprised me by being completely impotent. Guangxi had no chance to defend himself. But, um, you know what? We have a truce now. So I guess he can't... Yeah. What am I saying? It doesn't matter. He can't, he can't do anything to us. No matter what, we got a truce. Alright, now we should be good then. And Japan has no ships, so we should be able to keep him uh, at bay with just with just our Asian fleet. Our uh, European fleet is going to come back home for a little while and get buffed. Let's group up. We have some more soldiers being built that we need to get to the front lines, but I guess it's not not super duper priority. France's African provinces got sieged up. Ah, here we go. You guys. Yes, come on over. Come to Calabar, and then we'll take care of the British army and do whatever. Spain's going to kick the Netherlands out of Spain. Yep, that's a mobilized Netherlands army. Good. Man, this is all just crazy. We might even want to uh, invade the Netherlands just for shits and giggles. Just kind of walk through Germany and invade the Netherlands. Probably a good idea. Oh my goodness. What is going on in chat? I don't know. Chat's full of crap today. Welcome to crap chat. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, we have nine diplomats. What the hell am I going to do with nine diplomats? You know what? I don't know. I'm going to get relations up with Russia for now. Oh wow. Russia's up to number six in the world. Probably just because Austria-Hungary... No, Austria has not fallen. Who has fallen? Britain has fallen to number seven. China's still number five. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Something... Someone fell. No, eh, whatever. Siam's now in the wars. Thank you, Siam. You're the best. Uh, let's continue. Continue the war. We are absolutely wrecking some of these German armies, which is great. Uh, here, you go over there. Hmm. No, go there. You kill them. And then come back. That was a quick squish. Hello, Britain. These are farmers, right? It looks like just farmers. It may be real infantry, but it's, it's kind of hard to tell. Judging by the losses, I'd say they're farmers. What's up, Germany? These are German farmers. They're not doing so hot. Thing is, we won't get any more war score from... Where's he going? Yeah, he's going there. We won't get any more war score from battles in this war. We already maxed out at 50 war score from battles. So at this point, it's just all sieging. Or uh, ticking war score. And we do have ticking war score in our favor because Ireland has made two demands. He's demanded the Highlands and Northeast England. And both of those are ticking right now. And that's nice. Oh, get out of here, Britain. Probably never even finished those forts, did I? Oh, well. Oh, shit. We're at 4.5 clerks in Midlands. Let's get them out of there. And clerks, clerks, clerks. West Macedonia. There you go. Looking good. Winning some battles here over German troops. Very nice. Uh, just keep going. Don't stop now. Hmm. Actually, let's go this way. Like that. Yeah. Another 8 war score in Salzburg. Good, good. 
Uh, I'll leave you guys, and I'll take the healthy army. I said the healthy army. Yes. To this one. Help out in this battle, because it's a def defensive battle in the mountains. It should be very easy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so some of our troops have made it to France. Uh, I'm not actually going to fight Germany there. What do we got? Three stacks. Let's peek around the corner. And let's hit Luxembourg, and let's head straight into the Netherlands and see what we can find. I don't think he has any armies at home. But that's a guess. I don't know for sure. Alright, that army squished. Good, good. He's got a lot of peasants over here. That's why these uh, armies are squishing. And I'm sorry if I sound a little unexcited right now. I'm not unexcited, I'm simply drinking. So, um, my brain is wandering, that's all. Spain wants, po oh! Spain wants Poland-Lithuania to acquire all states with cores. Spain, you genius! You took six infamy for that. I don't think that's even possible, that would be a hundred war score, right? Uh, no, it would only be 47 war score. Poland, Lithuania. Wow, that'd be hilarious. Okay, looks good. He's running away. Uh, put the 40 in Hrodek. Otherwise, I think I'm happy there. Why is this not sieging Salzburg? We're standing on Salzburg, which is sieged by Germany. Why am I not unseiging Salzburg? Am I doing it wrong? Surely this is how you siege. You stand on a province that is owned by someone else, and it sieges. That's, that's how it's meant to be done. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Ah, uh, you guys are retreating. I see how it is. Well, retreat all you want. Let's go help out our friends over here. Hopefully this is an easy battle. Ah yes, they, they retreated instantly. They're like, oh shit, here comes the fucking Byzantines, just get out of there. Oh, we're actually under attack, he's attacking me. Are you kidding me? He's attacking me with peasants. You're fucking kidding me, right? Oh my god, he just lost 1,700 on day one. He's attacking me with peasants. Germany, you're, you're crazy, man. You're an absolute crazy, man. Oh, fucking Britain, get out of here. Alright, chase him down. Aha, good. We dock up? Yeah. Please dock up. There we go. On the boat you go. Where to? Uh, could come over here, I guess. <sighs> I mean, it's just... Ugh. Effort. Every time we drop off troops, it's just a matter of effort. I think instead I want to drop off more troops here in China. If we go to another war with China, which is unlikely because we have a truce now. Uh, if, we, if it does happen, though, I want to make sure we have enough troops to really dispatch China easily. Because that one battle, 35 war score, we should have had that much earlier in, in the war. Okay, Hrodek and Osig. Hrodek is good. He's running to Bujuis, that's fine. Ossig as well, but he's not running away. Okay, go there. Then come back to Hrodek. Looks like Austria has pretty much given up the ghost. Have you lost your army, Austria? No, I still got 70 regiments. I don't know. Britain has surely lost his army. Alright, Miss Colch? Where the fuck is Miss Colch? I don't know.
Miss Colch. Uh, oh, there it is. And he is not retreating. He's squished. Good. I like it when they don't retreat. Oh my god, he already sieged Doso. We can't even get there fast enough. Okay, looks like we're going to catch him in Marathi or whatever it's called. Manati. Okay, we've powered through Luxembourg. That was kind of the point. I want to get to the Netherlands and siege up the Netherlands. What do you have, Netherlands? If anything? Could be nothing. Yeah, looks like he's got nothing. Alright, well, split up and siege. Stay on the border of Germany in case Germany comes back. But yeah, it looks like we're pressing in from France effectively. Uh, and as long as we can keep the mountains over here, we should be fine. We're going to try to protect Vienna as well. Uh, keeping the capital alive is very important. And I think we're doing an okay job. Group up those guys. Let's pick up some, some of these poor troops. Hmm... I'm actually going to see if I can pull, pull Japan into this war. That'd be hilarious. Because then he wouldn't be able to do a coalition on us. Uh, USA, are you interested in alliance? How close are we? Eh, not that far off. Yeah, if we can pull the great powers into this war, then they can't coalition war. Or not coalition. They can't... Um, what the fuck is that term? Whatever it's called. Containment war us. Oh my god. Stop drinking, Shen. You don't know what you're saying. Ah. Oh look, we won the defensive battle against a bunch of bunch, a bunch of German farmers. Big fucking surprise. Won the battle of Budapest. Good, good. Oh, he's actually surviving. Wow. Interesting. Um. Okay. Hmm. Influence looks okay, except Serbia. Oh my god, he's friendly. Get out of there. Turn away for two seconds and all of a sudden he's fucking friendly. You know? Shit. Alright, we finally broke these stupid farmers. Hmm. Stupid Germans. It's too bad we can't go more than 50 war score for battles. Because we would have like 5 billion war score. Whoa, Russia has turned the war on Sweden and is now demanding lands from Sweden. Look at that. They want Nord Norg. Sweden, you poor bastard. And yeah, there there is literally nothing here in the Netherlands. Oh my goodness. I feel for you, Netherlands. I really do. So where do you have your industry? Industry? He doesn't have industry. <laughs> he has no... He gets sieged up so much that all his factories just get wrecked. There's nothing. There's no industry. Okay, another battle. The no good chain gang. Gain consciousness or gain military. We'll take the consciousness, thank you. Aha, you're running away. Stop running away. I want to kill you and that's more difficult if you run away. So stop running away, you son of a bitch. Also, we should probably be unseaging some shit. Because it looks like Germany has pretty much took his his troops home.
These poor bastards. We lost a battle. Really? We lost a battle against the Brits? I don't understand this. We're two techs ahead of this guy. We're fighting in the plains. There's no defensive bonus. We're two techs ahead of this guy, and we get crushed. We get fucking crushed. 57 attacking 32. We outnumber him 2 to 1. We're two techs ahead, and we get crushed. I have no idea. But it is rather frustrating, I'll say that. the second time we've had an army crushed by Britain where it didn't make any sense. I don't know what to make of it, really. The Germans are actually attacking us in the mountains. Are you fucking kidding me? You are not fucking kidding me. That's hilarious. Go for it, Germany. Oh, look at that. I'm losing 14. You're losing 800. I'm losing 12. You're losing 300. You're an idiot. Oh! France wants Germany to release Prussia. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's pretty hilarious. Ah, Britain wants peace. Give me Saxony and Magdeburg. Nope, we can do better than that. But I appreciate you offering what I asked. He's like, but that's what you asked for. I'm like, yeah, but that's what I asked for yesterday. Today, I want more. Bastards. You don't attack me in the mountains, Germany. He's attacking in the mountains in two different provinces. You're a fucking moron, Germany. Clear the key to victory is to construct more pylons. You might be onto something there. I'm not sure if pylons are the right type of thing to construct. But we certainly need to construct something. Pylons are a maybe. Yeah, we're starting to crush these armies here. I like it. And these are real armies. It's not just his peasants that we're crushing. Although there are peasants here. Scattered about. Group up. On the boat. Come to Rhodes. We can click a thing. Trade unions. Sure. Trade unions. Enjoy. Whatever. Poor Netherlands. 31% in climbing on the Netherlands. Hmm. See, so yeah, how much would it be? We can't peace out Germany, because we can't. you can't separate peace and crisis wars. But how much would it be? Oh, God. Prussia would be 100 war score. Poland, Lithuania. That might be fun. Hmm. He won't even do 48. We're at 77. He won't even do 48. It's still 1931? Yeah, these wars... If you want to micromanage them and like do them to the best of your ability, these wars, they take a while. So yeah, it's still 1931. It's worth it, man. If you focus properly, you can really do a whole lot of good in these wars. 
the AI will certainly spend a lot of time uh, trying to do everything perfectly in the war. You might as well do your best as well. Nope. Although it's nice to know that the Dutch are interested in peace. I'm not interested just yet. Yeah, just kick him out. Oh, France has actually sieged up some of Saxony. Cool. Sup, Germany? Sup, Germany? You like my tanks? Oh, they love my tanks. These are styling tanks, man. It's like a very squat Darth Vader tank. Oh, Portugal's here. Hello, Portugal. You guys are really helping out. I appreciate it. Why is there a Bavarian army? You know what? Um, I'm going to call it a bug. I have no idea. He's been there ever since Germany formed. There is no Bavaria nation, so nobody is funding these guys. I don't know. They're just there. They're like decoration, you know? It's like the moose in EU4. There's a moose in Germany in EU4 for some reason. Ah, oh, Russia will take an alliance. Perfect. That means uh, you might come into my war. We'll see. Unless he has a truce or something. Nope, no truce. Perfect. All right, Utrecht. Let's go to Amsterdam. Get out of here, Britain. Somehow, Russia is clinging to the fifth spot on Great Power List. That's amazing. His industry is pretty good. I don't think I've ever seen Russia with 1,500 industry before. That's mighty impressive, Russia. Oh, we won the Battle of Holyhead. Good. And we destroyed the army in Miskolch. Great. So where are you running to, Britain? Shrewsbury, eh? All right. I'll see you there. All right, yeah, these armies are just getting crushed now. I love it. And uh, this is the point where Germany starts to collapse. Beautiful. Let's see if we can't get to Trent. Before he finishes that siege. I think we can. Although tanks through the mountains, kind of slow. Yeah, we'll make it. Good. I think we're okay down here. I think we have uh, dealt with the biggest threat, and it's time for us to just clean up the mess. Man, I wish we had more Diplo points. I really wish we had more Diplo points. Where's Britain getting their armies? From Canada. Nobody's ever going to invade Canada. So they're just going to keep building units there. It'd be cool if there was some type of movement for independence. The Metis Confederacy or Canada or Quebec or something. Just go independent and try to, but nah, they're not going to. Gonna have to keep getting relations up with the old USA. See if we can't get them into our wars. Oh, someone collapsed. Oh. <laughs> British Columbia collapsed again. They're so good at it.
And we crush another army. Just keep crushing. Oh, even Persia's over here. Yeah, go get him, Persia. Oh, Persia's unseaging stuff. You the real MVP, Persia. Yeah, there's no pressure to peace out. Our economy should bounce back. We could uh, tax our people a little more. Probably don't need to fund our navy that much right now. We're not really using our navy for anything, so... Yeah, let's save a little cash. There you go. Just save 7,000 pounds a day. Why not? Uh, 20, 36 stack. Okay. Can we group up some more motherfuckers? Maybe. Maybe now's a good time to start shipping some troops to Africa. Because there's no other thing we need to siege up up here. Actually, there is. Let's go to Venice and we'll save uh, Padua. I don't want to call Russia because they might say no. Alright, now we can start sieging up more of Germany. And these armies are done. So why don't you roll over here? Shit. Oh! Thanks for subbing, Colesburg. God, I love that sound effect. I will never forget when someone is subbing now. <laughs> Portugal, Serbia, Siam, Spain. Okay. Ah, good. Yep, let's just siege all the things. Oh, Byzantine Liebenstrom. Ducey, or Deuce. The military high command has devised a cunning plan to increase the size of the Byzantine Liebenstrom through military conquest. By staging a military incident with one of our neighbors, we can make our people in the world believe that we are under an attack. Byzantine Empire gets a conquest, causes belly on Spain. Really? Spain's in my sphere. Allow annexation on Spain. What? <laughs> this must be a thing for being fascist. I've never seen this before. We get a conquest CB on Spain. Wow, what a crazy CB. Now, if that was on the Ottomans, I would fucking love it. Just go absolutely bullshit on them. But it's not on the Ottomans, is it? Oh, the Ottomans went fascist, too. Hmm. Interesting. Never seen that event before. So he only says maybe for the Dutch conquest. But we'll call him anyway. Come on in, Russia. The water's warm. Yeah, Russia's in. Great. Now I want to try to get Japan as an ally and call him in. We'll get there. Japan and the USA are the last two to worry about. Uh, probably just the USA, actually. Japan doesn't really matter because all they have is a stupid navy. They don't, I mean, they, all they have is a stupid army. They don't have a navy. So Russia's in. Not like he has any army or anything, but he's in the war. Portugal wants to humiliate the Netherlands. Okay. I, I can't turn that down. Of course we're going to humiliate the Netherlands. Why not? Kill them and kill them and then come back and kill them, and then kill them. These are all peasants, right? Yeah, they're all just fucking peasants. They don't know what they're doing. Kill them. Go join. Kill them. Kill them. Come back to Venice. Okay, and this stack of 64, come down here. Apparently there's rebels in Persia. That'll be fine. Don't worry about Persia, man.
This war, man. This fucking war. No. Not good enough. Not good enough. Russia wants Mazowiki or whatever it is. Yep. That's this state here. I'm not sure they're going to get it, but they want it. What are my plans for the Netherlands Treaty? Um, I want to do as much damage to the world as I can. We don't have a whole lot of time left. We have four years left. But to do a lot of damage to the world, we need to get certain people into the war. And I'm not sure how likely that's going to be. If we can get the USA into the war, I think we'll be absolutely fucking golden. Because then they won't do a coalition on us. Or a containment war, I mean. But uh, for now, we just got to improve relations. I think I can go speed three here. Should be okay. Let's start pulling troops back because I don't think we need them anymore. I'm going to go to the Ottoman border because that's, that's going to be our next war target. Senor Ottoman. Ireland wants Poland to get West Prussian. Okay. Fine by me. Kill the Germans. God damn it, Britain is making a mess of, of India. <laughs> I mean, of Africa. There's nothing I can do about it because we don't have any troops down there. But we'll send some down there. Ambassador insulted. Japan. No, 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 no. Japan, you are going to get uh, a sincere handshake. Oldenburg. Great. Move on. No, you can't have peace, Britain. There is no need for peace. No peace. Go away. Peace is for the weak. Alright, knock uh, Austria down to f neutral with Serbia. Come on, kill them all. Oh my god, we gotta get some troops here. Britain is fucking us up in in Africa. Annex Spain? No, no. Spain's in our sphere. We're not going to unsphere, unally, and then annex Spain. Spain is in our sphere. They might as well be part of us anyway. Siege them up. And I really didn't want to siege too much of Germany because I don't want to. I don't want them to lose their factory score, right? Their industrial score, their powerhouse is still Saxony, and I don't want Saxony to fall. If all of Saxony gets sieged, then uh, they will lose their industry power there, and that's kind of sad. How are we doing, Japan? Are we ready for an alliance yet? Wait, why would I care? No, the only one I care about is the USA. Well, at this point, we might just want to throw caution to the wind and say, fuck the USA. I don't think they can really harm us too much. I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong when I say I don't think the USA can harm us too much. But uh, I don't know for sure. I honestly don't know for sure. What I do know is it's the end of this episode. So thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time. And uh, we're about to kick it over the infamy limit. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.